Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And we are back again for another Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. And we are reviewing Black Yogi with Nico Marie. I know it's been a minute. It's been a long minute. And she has plenty of stuff out there now because it's been so long since I've reviewed her content. Um, and Content alert. I think I did mention this before. I am planning to do her 30 day challenge that she has going on for the month of April to kind of highlight my birthday. Um, cause that is my birthday month. Um, and then, but the only thing is she has 31 days. So of course we'll have to like, you know, move into May 1st and I won't be necessarily be doing it daily like that, but I'm going to try to get that challenge going. And then she also has another challenge, a seven day challenge that she's doing right now. I, it's either a seven day or five day challenge she is going on right now that I am looking to do in the future too. So because she always has challenges, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna keep featuring that channel because out of all the yoga instructors, I mean, even like Nico, even um, yoga with Adrian, like she's literally the most consistent. So if you're someone who just, constantly needs to have yoga in your life i would strongly suggest following her channel especially but also follow all the other content creators i put out there too because you shouldn't have any shortage of material and mixing things up but the one that we're actually doing today though she um put this out here about two weeks ago it is a five minute instant calm yoga routine ease anger and anxiety Y'all already know, for some of y'all, y'all do know, <laughs> I have had some life changes happening lately, and child, it's been a lot. So anything that I can use to de-stress, we're going to use it. And so we're going to go ahead and do this today. And without further ado, let is, let's go ahead and get into it. In today's practice, we are going to stand, um, start in a kneeling position. Um, or in a comfortable comfortable seat position if you're choosing. I did end up switching up the seating position as I mentioned in my review. Um, all of this practice today is mainly going to be on the floor, so there's not going to be any standing poses. Um, no warrior ones or anything like that. Um, just a nice quick five minute um, practice. And anyways, I hope you enjoy.
Hi, so that does conclude the easy five minute practice that we did for today. And um, how we rate it, I'm going to give it a solid 8.5. Um, it was enough to get me relaxed. It was enough to get me to help me unwind from work. Um, I will say this though, I did make an adjustment um, kind of in the middle of the practice because for those who know, I'm a runner. <laughs> so therefore my hamstrings and my legs are always super, super tight. So to be in the pose that we start off with, for a long amount of time, it really bothers me. So I can't stay in that pose for as long as like what she had us stand in that pose for um, because I have super tight hamstrings and I also have, you know, the Achilles issues and whatnot. So because every day is leg day for me, that is a challenging pose for me to stay on for a long amount of time while still being somewhat wound up. Um, now if I was already relaxed and already started this, did this practice, like kind of chilling out, I would probably be able to do that and not have a problem. So that's just kind of a warning. If you guys do decide to do that and you're similar to me and have issues with that kind of a posture, um, it's not really, for me, it's not anything. It's really totally, um, this might sound weird and probably for athletes, not so much, but if you're someone who's really, really athletic, I am a type of person where my body feels relaxed after like I've worked it. Like I have to really, really work it to be relaxed. <laughs> like even when I do like races, if I'm doing a 5k and even at my best, when I used to run like my fastest times in my twenties, um, where I would win my age group and whatnot, I would have to run three miles. So my mic just died. Um, basically what I'm getting at is I would have to run like three miles um, before the 5K in order to run the 5K. So I basically would have to run the 10K <laughs> total for me to do really well in a 5K race. <laughs> but anyway, be glad you missed me like going any further into it because I was about to go more into the weeds with this, but I don't remember everything else I said. Uh, please like, comment, but... Anyway, that was a lot about me <laughs> that had nothing to do with this routine. But my whole point is if you're someone who's like me, who needs to be warmed up for certain poses, certain positions, I would maybe do this as a recovery versus you starting off with it for the day or even as a distressor. Cause certain poses for me just doesn't work unless I'm like really, really warmed up. And I'm not, no longer in my head, which basically means I have to work out for me to no longer be in my head. <laughs> anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.